Welcome back to Perks Recap. Back at it once again. We're handing a brand new artist to the channel. New band. This is Al Cooper and Shuggy Otis. This is the Cooper Session. And the name of the song is called Slow Goonbash Blues. Uh, interesting title there. But if it's a blues song, I'm on board for it. Really love the blues, of course. Please make sure you like, comment, subscribe, hit the notification bell. I'm going in here completely blind. But let's see what we got. What? spitting my drink out when this started my goodness Okay, so far an instrumental. I don't know if there's any vocals in here. I don't care if there are or not. That, it's fine with me. Uh, you're going to see a lot of stink face. This is a stink face kind of a song. You're going to see that.
try so hard not to not to pause during solos. Um, sometimes there's an ad or something, and I have to, and I don't have a choice. Um, but you know, I think that was over, so hopefully we're okay. But this is like this is quintessential blues. This is fantastic. My goodness. Um, once again, Al Cooper, Shuggy Otis, Stu Woods, and Wes Kelly. Shuggy Otis is on guitar. Where where's this been? This is another guy. Here's another example of somebody I never heard of before, never heard anything about. And on the guitar, he's absolutely fantastic. Did he go by a different name later or something? And I do know him? Because if not, that's terrible. How did I not know this? There's so many blues artists that get lost in the shuffle. And for the most part, every single one I come across is absolutely fantastic. They're so, so good. said that a good blues song is going to have a great bass line and this bass line in this I can just kind of rock back and forth and groove to that bass line I could do that for hours on end I think I mean it is so smooth and so well done once again on bass is Stu Woods wow um I I can't say how, how impressed, I can't even explain how impressed I am with this this has been a, a big surprise to be honest I didn't expect it to be this good Yeah.
There you have it. Slow Goombash Blues. Wow, wow, wow. Um, Shaggy Otis. Is it Shaggy Otis? Let me just make sure. Yeah, Sh Shuggy. Shuggy, see? I was wrong. Shuggy Otis. It's another example of another guy that he... Now, maybe I'm, I'm just ignorant to the to the uh, blues community or especially at that time and maybe he was a big name and maybe he did get the recognition he deserved but as far as I know I never heard of him and I don't think he probably did get the recognition he deserves I mean what a great guitar player I mean that was like such a great blues song just so well done and I, I enjoyed the rest of the band too obviously Al Cooper kind of he got top billing in terms of uh, these two pairing together but he's on, he was on the keys, and he was impressive on the keys as well. But the guitar just blew me away. This was super impressive, way more than I thought. Um, it's another case, though. The blues, they were here the whole time, and we weren't listening to them at the time. Again, I wasn't there. This is what I've been told. They were kind of put on the back burner. They weren't really a big deal until the British invasion came, and then everybody associated with that kind of took these blues songs and popularized them and shined a light on them i mean everybody from the rolling stones to led zeppelin when they were the yardbirds and everything else in between um all of a sudden these these blues songs came into the light and but like i said before they were here the whole time but apparently they weren't being they weren't appreciated here until like i said the british invasion came along and popularized them but thank god they did because we got a lot of great music because of it. A lot of rock songs, especially some of your favorites that I'm sure you may or maybe you don't even realize. Um, there's a lot of songs that I like that I did not realize is, are actually old blues songs. Um, blues and uh, rock and blues rock was a main, was a big thing in the, in the 70s especially. Um, but even all the way through, right up until today, I'm sure there's still other um, rock songs that are out there that people don't realize are old blues songs. There's a lot of stuff, a lot of music can be attributed to the blues as a callback to the blues. And this was just excellent. I thoroughly, thoroughly, thoroughly enjoyed it. I want to thank Bill for the suggestion and the donation. I do want to apologize. I, I skipped over his uh, donation. This should have been uh, out like three or four days ago. And for some reason it got lost in the shuffle. It doesn't happen that often. And, it, and I did catch it, obviously. But uh, I will definitely be on top of that more. I'm I'm got to focus on the donations when they come in and what date so I get get to them in a timely manner. Uh, so that was on me that I, I did not do that for this one. I waited too long. But either way, I'm glad we got to it. I want to thank Bill once again for that suggestion and donation. And like I said, that's not going to happen anymore. I'm going to be very much on top of the dates and be cognizant of how long people are waiting after a donation. And again, especially for a donation, because I appreciate that so much. So if you would like to donate, information for Venmo and PayPal is in the description below. It's also at the end of this video. Or you can hit the uh, thanks button on YouTube. That's another way you can donate. And if you donate, I'll react to anything you want. And if it's anything like this, I'm really going to enjoy it, because this was excellent. Once again, thank you, Bill. And until next time, I will see you later.